Okay guys, so I am getting about 10, 10 and a half hours of screen on time with my Redmi K20 Pro. The tweaks I have on here can be applied to any and all devices. And devices that would specifically benefit from this would be something like the Xiaomi Mi 9 or the Google Pixel 4 or the Mi Mix 3. Any of the devices that have smaller batteries that uh, really rely on optimization of the uh, software to get the maximum in battery life. Now, the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go ahead and unlock your bootloader. Now, I will leave a link to my website where I'll have instructions on how to do this on Xiaomi devices. I'll do some research about how to do this uh, on the Google Pixel series of devices, but you're going to need to install a custom recovery. In this case, I have the TWRP recovery installed on my K20 Pro. Now it's important to note, once you have TWRP recovery installed on it, you're going to want to root the device by installing Magisk. Uh, I'll have a link for Magisk uh, on my website where you can download and install it, but you need to have root access in order to do, to do these tweaks on the device. Now, once we have the device rooted, uh, the thing that you're going to want to install is the Franco Kernel Manager. Now, there's a ton of different applications that you can use to go ahead and underclock and tweak it. I just like supporting uh, Francisco and the Franco Kernel project that he has going on. Gets tons of updates, is really stable. I am on the OEM and I'm on the stock kernel. So there's absolutely uh, no reason for me to like change that at all. But first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is underclock the CPU by 25%. I have found 25% has no negative impact on most day-to-day -day usage. Now, right now I have the brightness up high because I'm recording the video. Now, I have not touched the auto sync or anything like that. Uh, the battery saver is something that I had on before, but it's something that I don't typically have on. We'll turn off battery saver right now Having the, your phone underclocked can create some issues if you want to game or use other more intensive apps. Now, the way we can get around this is go ahead and go into per app profiles, create a new app profile, and from here, you can go ahead and select whatever application you want to run the device at normal clock speed. So if you do a lot of gaming on your device, or if you do some occasional gaming on your device, let's say, and when you play PUBG, you want it to run at full speed the way it normally would, then you can allow your device to run at a normal clock speed when using PUBG. Uh, for me, using Google Camera is a place where I see a big noticeable difference. So if you have a Google Pixel 4, I would say to go ahead and create an app profile specifically for your camera so that you are not underclocking the device during the camera use or you'll have worse camera like experience. That is all that I tweak. The 25% underclock, 20% lower screen uh, brightness, and I have my per app profiles. Now, it's also worth noting that I have also installed the nap time. Now, we'll get to nap time in a second. Nap time is another great thing that is also from Francisco. Now I have aggressive doze enabled, which essentially puts your device into a deeper hibernating sleep when the screen gets automatically turned off. Reapply doze after wake up. And now I have disable aggressive doze while charging and disable aggressive doze during audio sessions. This is because I listen to music when I ride my motorcycle, and if I need to have GPS, I do not want the aggressive doze to interfere with my GPS. There's tons of different ways that you can go ahead and tweak this, and it's worth playing around with this to go ahead and get your device to kind of interact with the battery and interact with some of the background services as well as you can. So, first two things were Franco kernel, nap time. Next is dark mode. Now, Google has rolled out dark mode. If you are on the uh, Google Pixel, you will have dark mode. If you're on the Mi 9 or on the Mi Mix 3, you will also have dark mode. Now, your dark mode might be a little bit different from mine, but dark mode. Now, I do have a global dark mode, and I don't really use the global dark mode. You don't have global dark mode, that's not that big of a deal. 
I'm currently not using global dark mode. I'm gonna show you the apps that I have switched to dark mode. Apps that are currently compatible with a all black dark mode would be Reddit. You can go ahead and turn on the, uh, the like the, the, the dark, dark mode, AMOLED night mode right here. So as you guys can see, we have the full pitch black on Reddit, consumes less power. I have a dark theme on Telegram that, that uh, has the screen as low as possible. Also, it's worth noting that I just have a simple black background on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is supposed to be rolling out a new dark mode. It's not here yet. Now, YouTube also has a dark mode, but the YouTube dark mode is not like the, uh, it's not like the actual real dark mode with the black, it's just dark gray. Other apps that have the dark mode, uh, Twitter has the ability to go ahead and go to the lights out dark mode here. And if you want to enable that, we can go here and it is under display and sound. Dark mode appearance, lights out. Facebook Messenger, you can you can go ahead and enable the dark mode uh, from Facebook Messenger. And you guys can look this stuff up, but we have dark mode right here. Instagram does have the true dark mode, which will allow you to go ahead and have the actual pitch black. If you guys aren't following Xiaomi-tography Instagram page, you should. It's where I share your content with other people in the Xiaomi community. I have noticed that uh, the Google applications do not utilize the true dark mode. So I'm still utilizing the built-in Xiaomi apps for a lot of stuff, such as contacts, because I do have the pitch black dark mode. Now with all of these applications set to dark mode, there's one last little kind of trick that I do. And that is if I'm not interacting with my phone or I don't necessarily need to uh, have background app uh, processes running, like I'm watching YouTube or such, I will enable battery saver while I'm using dark mode. And that just ekes out that little bit extra of performance on my battery without needing to actually like do or change uh, anything, like especially if I'm while I'm watching YouTube. As you guys can see, I just have a plain black wallpaper here. And just to quickly answer a couple of questions for people that were asking about how I have my home screen set up, this is literally just completely stock MIUI 11 based on Android 10 uh, for Xiaomi EU, home screen with App Door, minus one screen uh, for Google. And we're gonna be having a search bar come up uh, pretty soon. Right now, the search bar appears on the bottom identical to how it does on the Pixel, but it only searches the device. It's like Xiaomi's proprietary search. If you guys are trying to figure out why I don't have all of the Chinese bloat, I have a video right here about how you can remove the Chinese bloat. If you guys want to see a video about how to install the Xiaomi EU ROM and everything I'm running, that video will be right here. And don't forget to check out the website. That'll have everything that you need over here in the link down below as well as subscribe. Till next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.